Hello, it's Jessica Wilkinson again, your awesome young adult services librarian. And this week, I'm going to talk to you guys about several historical fiction books that we have up in the teen space. The first book I'm going to talk to you about is called The Dam by Rene Adi. Following the events of the beautiful, Sebastian St. Germain is now cursed and forever changed. The treaty between the fallen and the brotherhood has been broken, and war between the immortals seems imminent. The price of loving Celine was costly, but Celine has also paid a high price for loving Bastian. This second book is the beautiful series return with the second installment of her new sumptuous, sultry, and romantic series. Find out if Celine is able to uncover the danger around her. The next book I'm going to be talking about is Rebel Spy by Veronica Rossi. Rebellious Franny Tasker knows little about the war between England and its 13 colonies. In 1776, until a shipwreck off her home in Grand Bahama Island presents an unthinkable opportunity, the body of a young woman floating in the sea gives Franny the chance to escape her brutal stepfather, and she takes it. Assuming the identity of the drowned Emmeline Coates, Franny is rescued by a British merchant ship and sails with the crew to New York. For the next three years, Franny lives a lie as Miss Coates, swept up in a courtship by a dashing British lieutenant. But after witnessing the darker side of the war, she realizes that her position gives her power. Soon, she finds herself eavesdropping on British officers, risking everything to pass information onto George Washington's Culper Spiring as Agent 355. Franny believes in the fight for American liberty, but what will it cost her? Inspired by the true 355 and rich in historical detail and intrigue, this is the story of an unlikely New York society girl turned an even unlikelier spy. The last book I'm going to be talking to you about today is The Diviners by Leba Bray. Something dark and evil has awakened. Evie O'Neill has been exiled from her boring old hometown and shipped off to the bustling streets of New York City, and she is positively ecstatic. It's 1926, and New York is filled with speakeasies, Ziegfeld girls, and rackish pickpockets. The only catch is that she has to live with her Uncle Will and his unhealthy obsession with the occult. Evie worries her uncle will discover her darkest secret, a supernatural power that has only brought her trouble so far. But when the police find a murder girl branded with a cryptic symbol and Will is called to the scene, Evie realizes her gift could help catch a serial killer. As Evie jumps headlong into a dance with a murderer, other stories unfold in the city that never sleeps. A young man named Memphis is caught between two worlds. A chorus girl named Theta is running from her past. A student named Jericho is hiding a shocking secret, and unknown to all, something dark and evil has awakened. Historical fiction does stories with historical fence events, but these stories are so much more than that. If you have ever considered a historical fiction book before, I would recommend giving them a chance. You will never know if you like something until you try. These are the three historical fiction books that are available in the library, so make sure to stop on by and check them out. Thank you.